little, little tip for the day is if you have curly hair, don't touch it. If you don't want it to frizz up or anything like that. Now, if you want for the big afro look, more power to you, boo. There you go. But if you're wanting your curls to stay curly, a lot of people complain about it. The only reason why mine look a little crazy because, you know, you're going to so I can learn on it. And, um, but for the most part, y'all see it's curly all the way through. Have that luster, all that good stuff. So stop touching your hair. You shouldn't touch your hair anyway. <laughs> you're gonna mess up your hairstyle. But especially with curly hair, if you're wanting it to maintain its curl, stop touching it, sis. Stop touching it. Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Charlie B back with another video. Let's go. I just finished my first week of homeschooling. Y'all, it's been stressful. How many of y'all still have y'all nails that are on lockdown? Let me know. It's been a week. I'm still gratefully blessed. I just whipped my hair down for y'all. Ooh, make sure you go on charliebstyles.com and get your bundles. Mm -mm. Yes, but anyways, like I said, y'all, y'all have to get used to me going off on little tangents, going back and forth. Like, I'm just giving y'all the reality of everything that's going on. It's been crazy. I literally bit my nails off today while we were having class. Um, we just finished our first week, but we only, we started Tuesday, I believe, so... We have to do Zoom meetings with my esthetician class twice a day, Monday through Friday, one at nine and one at 1.30 in the afternoon. And then in between, we have to do lab work, which is theory. And anyone who's taken any type of cosmetology, esthetician, any type of trade when it comes to the beauty industry, we have to take theory. There's a certain amount of hours of theory that we have to take. And usually, because this is a hands-on type of uh career usually we get a break but because we can't really do hands-on stuff too much um it's a lot of theory so we're getting a lot of knowledge but at the same time lord help me jesus but we gonna make it through it then on top of that we got my third grader with mike mike who he has to get used to me being the teacher at this point he's used to me being mommy Helping him with his homework and this, that, and the other. But no, sir. We got a whole curriculum that we have to go down. So, it's just been a little crazy. So, I was super excited when my girl hit me up. And she's like, girl, are you still in here? I'm like, yes, girl. I still have access to my salon suite. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Super excited. Anyone who knows me knows, like, I absolutely love doing hair. And when I need to zen out. I can just do some curls, and I'm just like, it makes it better. It makes it all better. Y'all say hey to Becky back there. So we got Becky, Brenda. We need a name for the deep wig. Becky is going to be my straight hair girl. She's curled right now. But my straight hair wig is going to be Becky. My kinky, curly wigs are going to be Brenda. Um, I think I'm going to keep the name C and B, because Charlie B. Uh -huh. So we need a name for my deep wave wigs, my body wave wigs, and my loose, my loose wave wigs, and my loose deep wave wigs. So, I'll list down below. Y'all comment down below, let me know what names has to begin with a C or a B or a B or a C. Um, should we give my custom units? And I appreciate everybody who's been purchasing my hair, who's been purchasing wigs. Like, oh my God, I really have to catch up with my social media because honestly, the majority of the people whose hair I've been doing, you all have been purchasing my hair and I appreciate that. That makes me feel good because that means you trust me. And who doesn't want to be trusted? And it's just like support, 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 like, ew, ew, ew. And shout out to Marcia, Ming for King, the reality of Ming over there. She's been shouting your girl out. I appreciate it. Thank you, love. Appreciate all that. Um. Let's see, what else has been going on? Update. Uh, the twins, the twins, Um, their childcare has been deemed essential, which they are essential for me to get through this day. These, these days, seriously, I love my daughters, but they're four years old. And I have a lot of stuff to get done throughout the day. So I thank God that their childcare center is still open. <sighs> thank God for daycares. Thank God for the 
caregivers, thank God for that. Healthcare workers, oh my God. Anybody who's putting themselves out there, like, oh my goodness. But their child care facility is taking, they are taking um, precautions. We're not even allowed to walk in because they don't want any type of contamination, you know, because we're out here in this world as the parents. And then on top of that, they're not allowing any new babies to come in. So, yeah. Um, but they've been some characters. They've been awesome. Um, yeah. If Check them out in the last video. They'll be in this video. Um, yeah. <sighs> what else? We're going to be moving soon. Uh -uh. Uh, 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 uh. So get ready for more vlogs, get ready for more content, all that good stuff because I'll be more comfortable. Not saying I'm not comfortable in people's house, but y'all know when you're in your own space, your own environment, like you just feel more comfortable doing more there. And you don't want to disrespect anyone's house or anything like that. So I'll explain all this to y'all once I get into my spot. But yeah, little no brain, nobody in here. I just spit all that out but yeah that's what it is stay tuned if y'all want to see the slaves from today and subscribe if you're not already subscribed thumbs up this video like it go follow all our social media support us on there and make sure you get your hair from charlabstyles.com and if you're in houston get your hair slaved i can't go anywhere else right now but once this thing gets lifted your girl gonna be out here so let me know ah, stay tuned oh yeah i wanted to show y'all today i'll be installing my deep wave bundle she wants a quick weave so there we go already tinted it for her detailed it for her all that good stuff and of course she's gonna want mad baby hairs so that's what we gonna give her let me see if i can show y'all my skin so y'all see and then this is my deep wave hair did it So all of these are 14 inches. She has a very small head. And anyone who knows anything about hair, they go by the weight of the hair. So the shorter the hair, the more tracks you get, the thicker they are. And my hair is thick from the weft all the way to the ends. So y'all see that little thing? I'm a little tag going off. You know, get your little, get your little in and get your trolley D bundles. But anyways, yeah, this is my deep wave hair. And like I was saying, the shorter the hair, the more tracks you get. And my client today, she has a small head. So she's, we're only using the frontal and two bundles. And that's what we're doing. That's what's happening. So stay tuned, y'all. <sighs> All right, y'all. So my client is late. I just saw her text message. I get in here. I try to get in here early. This voice brought me Jesus. But anyways, I try to get in here early. Um, and then I start prepping the hair. Then I like to shampoo y'all's hair before y'all come in and get your hair done. I just feel like you have a nice little fresh look. And also just get myself prepared and ready and excited and all that. But <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, it's irking for some time. No, it's irking, but people have been understanding with me so I try to be understanding with other people yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that so what I'm going to do is prep another wig I have another unit for one of my regular clients she has two units so she rotates them so I already have her prepping over there getting the glue off getting all that stuff off there off of her lace and while that's sitting for a little bit, I'm going to curl my pink wig and put her on, on display in here. So give me a second. All right, y'all. So I just asked her to come tomorrow because um, I need to go see my baby. Michael wants me to throw the football back and forth. He could be playing basketball, but he asked me to do football with him and I need to get my workout in because I only worked out I, well I've been consistent Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday well Monday Tuesday I missed Wednesday because I did 900 squats between Monday and Tuesday so 
Wednesday, I chilled. Thursday, um, I did work out. And today's Friday, so I need to get it in some kind of way, shape, or form. So, yeah, and I miss my babies. I haven't seen my daughter, so I want to go see them before I have to come in here. I have to come in here tomorrow anyway, so I'll get my other wig done. And I'm just putting some tight barrel curls, so she's going to be um, on display. I'm going to give it do tight ones so that they have time to fall kind of like here over there let me move this out the way kind of like miss becky over here mm -mm. that's miss becky in 26 ow so yeah um i had to make that decision because I have to see my kids i already don't see them as much because i'm going to school and i'm working and it's just really important to me f to have that time with them even if it's just laying in the bed watching some movies or something but like i said michael wants me to throw the football so while we have that daylight let's go outside and do some babies oh let's go let's get it plus and then i gotta exfoliate my skin i don't know what's going on with me right now y'all i haven't even really been wearing makeup i have a little bit on today but since we've been in the house i have not been putting on makeup but just sis has been like breaking out i don't know if it's because my body's detoxing or what because i have been pretty good um when it comes to what i'm ingesting drinking a lot of water all that stuff like i don't drink soda like your girl is like for real breaking out so we'll see we're gonna get it together all right stay tuned all right y'all so literally at this point it's a race against daylight. Um, Micah and I have had a challenging week with homeschooling and just the change in the dynamic. And I told him that I would play with him um, because he works out with me. So I told him I would play with him with his football, tossing it back and forth. And you know, when you tell your kids something, you want to keep your word. What did you say, Mike? He had to try to throw football. He didn't got hurt, y'all. Because of her. How is it because of me? You don't know how to throw football. I tried. I tried. It's hard to teach somebody how to throw football. He was teaching me. He was trying to teach me how to throw it, bro. Like, y'all QBs out there or, or receivers, any people that know how to throw football, that makes it spin. That's how, you know that that's perfect. If it do, if I it wasn't be, doing that. If it be like, like not like bees, like, like if, if it's it, like if it be spinning. No, if it's spinning. If it's spinning, but like jiggling, you know that's not gonna go to the receiver. But if it's boom, it throws are pretty good. My throws were horrible. It was like his was like. And we heard his finger. Well, since all that happened, why don't you tell them about your week and how you feel about your first week of homeschool with your mom? Tell the truth. I, my teachers make me just get it, especially my reading. <laughs> you don't like reading? Yeah, and my teacher in reading. 
Oh, don't say that. That's not nice. That's not nice. That's not nice what she does. Oh my God. How? We're not even talking about your teacher. We're talking about how you like doing school at home with your mom. I feel good. Do you really? Yeah. So why were you giving me attitude? Because I just felt like that you were just like trying to make me do more. That's what a mom's supposed to do. That's what a parent's supposed to do. Push you to do more. But that's really the assignments that they gave you. It's not first and second grade anymore. Guys, it's third grade. Comment down below if y'all know any information that I could do. Like when I, like if you jam your finger and just to make it feel better. Are you trying to change the subject? Micah? I think he's trying to change the subject. Anyways. No, for real, because my finger... Like, guys, if you try... Like, look. I'm trying as hard as I can to bend it. Try to bend the other hand. Show me the other hand. Bend. Okay, now do the other hand. Do the one that hurt. that's hurt. I don't know. Well, Doing it as hard as I can. But I think if I do it as hard as I can, it might pop, and then it might start feeling better. Okay, I'm not doing it. Okay. It's just like when I do it, it feels like my bones just about to pop. <sighs> no, don't even think about it. Put it back. <laughs> I'm just digging my purse for my stuff. I want some gone. No. I got to go in and speak to my daughters. He asked me to come straight to the back when I got home. So that's what I did. I haven't even seen Riley and Ryan. So I'm about to go see them inside. So I done washed my face off. I broke out so bad. Look at that. I don't know what is going on. My teacher was saying today, like, your body doesn't know if it's good stress or bad stress. So because a lot of good things are happening throughout this whole C void situation or COVID 19 situation so i don't know if my body's like purifying itself like or detoxifying that's probably what it is my body's detoxifying because this doesn't make any sense i already had my cycle this month like it's crazy but i'm gonna tone my face came in the girls were watching a movie with the nana and papa and i was not about to like mess it up because they were super 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 quiet so i was like shh don't even get up and i hurried up took a shower <laughs> and i'm about to take this off i'm gonna probably shampoo my hair in the morning when i wake up or in the morning i'm gonna get up and um work out early in the morning hold on all right i'm back y'all so um, I was saying that in the morning I plan on getting up and at least going for a little run before I go to work. Y'all, you know, y'all see that folded clothes right there? They look like a pile of crap. I cannot wait to move because everything's going to have its place. Thank you, Jesus. Super excited. But anyways, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think it's good stress because like I said, Good stuff's happening. I'm still getting my hours at school. Micah's still learning. Still getting paid. So, yeah, let's go over there. I know.